Hey, what's up everyone? I'm Rick at Techspin. Today we've got the follow-up video. Here we've got the Sadie's Blade Mail, which is a 104 key RGB backlit keyboard. So we're gonna do an unboxing, and get into this review right now. Let's get to it. Today we have the Sadie's Blade Mail gaming keyboard. This version is in black. Uh, later on I'll be also covering the Pink Angel version for people who like that or those girl gamers out there. The back shows you some of the specs here, including uh, its dimensions. Uh, it's a 104 key keyboard. It has a switch lifespan of 10 million times. Uh, voltage, yeah, that's normal. And um, cable length is approximately one and a half meters or about nine feet or so. Here we'll do the unboxing, and it comes with this nice protective plastic uh, keycap cover. The wire is nicely tucked away inside the back, and as I bring it out here, you will see how thin the base is. It's all metallic too, it's a really nice premium feel to this. Inside the box you'll also notice some stickers, there's a warranty card, and instruction manual. I just remove the back cardboard off here and slide out the wiring assembly. And this is a really solid keyboard. Like it, it really feels, uh, I said premium already, but it really does feel premium. It's really, really nicely done. See here it has the floating keycap design. And while it provides greater space between the keys and the base, it has the added bonus of showing off the RGB better because it bounces off the white at the bottom. A close up here of the corner design and you can see the very thin metal and the Sadie's branding right there. And it has a full aluminum back, very very sturdy, no flex to the unit at all. Of course I'm in Taiwan here so a little bit of Chinese is expected. Blade Mail gaming keyboard. Sadie's has put a nice hologram sticker over the lighting area for all the lock lights up in the top right of the keyboard. So this keyboard has a very unique kind of floating keycap design and um, the keys depress very quickly and easily and uh, the space around the bottom does show off that really nice RGB lighting. I really like the fact that uh, the, the keys are tactile, they're very responsive to the touch. And I'm currently using this keyboard actually to edit this video. Here's a nice side view and you can see the the underside is very, very thin, as well as the braided cable, which is a very good quality feel to it. Here's a top-down view, and you can see the very, very thin aluminum top plate. Um, I shouldn't mention that there's no actual feet, additional feet to this unit. The extra um, black bar is what you see, it stands it up a little bit further, so it's already built in, so there's no additional extension. And here you can see exactly how thin it is. A nice, uh, very solid aluminum backing to it as well. No flex to this unit at all. And look at the front of that blade. That's uh, that, I really like that design. It's really catchy for me. Here the blade mail is pictured with the John's Bow uh, lit LED shelf. And you can see it will easily fit into that enclosure even though it's a 104 key keyboard showing off those nice RGB effects. Zooming out here you can see the media PC with a keyboard. Although after this I did take the keyboard and decide it was best used for my editing PC. And that keyboard slides in very nicely there. Here we'll show off the different lighting effects. So it has a standard blue and it also changes to red and also to green. You can turn on a breathing effect for each of the RGB colors. If you hit function and then escape it will breathe in and out. And so here's the display for green. And blue looks like this. And then red looks like this. And I do need to mention that it appears to flicker slightly. Of course, that's due to the shutter, uh, the shutter effect on the video itself. It's not visible when you're standing there in person. It's very, very smooth, no flicker at all. That's just an effect from the shutter of the camera. If you press the escape, function escape one more time, it turns off the RGB completely. And then if you press it one more time, it will actually turn it on at half power. One more time after that, we'll turn it on full. And then back to breathing again. 
please take a moment to like this video. And if you like what you see, then please do subscribe and click the bell icon to get notified when I upload new content. And here's the angel edition I was talking about. It's a, uh, it tends to be a pink color, even though on your screen right now, and for me too, it appears gold. It does have a kind of a shimmering effect as the, uh, I think it's powder coated aluminum. As it changes the angle, it'll change color slightly. It's kind of cool and a very unique look and uh, really brings out the white for those keys. I picked this one up for about 60 bucks US. It also has the same very, very thin design for the base and uh, the floating keycaps on top. And you can see the aluminum, uh, top aluminum base plate has been treated very nicely. This one comes with a white braided cable also. It's 1.5 meters or about nine feet. And just showing off the keys here a little bit. That white is quite nice. I really like the, the color for this. If only it, it wouldn't be in pink for me personally, I would, I would probably buy, buy this right away. <laughs> Just a quick close up here of the side of the unit and you can see the, the gold. It's kind of a gold and pink depending on where you look at it. We have blade mail again here and there's the angel edition. And as you can see the color does change from gold kind of to pink depending on the angle you look at it. And again we have a hologram for the uh, lock light area for number lock, caps lock and the rest. The RGB set tends to show up a lot better on this one just because the, the white tends to refract the light a lot better. Instead of having green as the final color, it actually has purple. One caveat I need to mention with this board is unfortunately it doesn't remember the color setting that you, you've chosen. So um, you know if you set it to red or green or purple if you've got the Angel Edition or a breathing mode or half power or off. Every time you turn on the computer from a cold start, it's going to be full on blue. I really love this design, so I really hope Sadie's can address this for the next version of this keyboard. Here I've turned off the light so you can really see the RGBs pop out. I just have one uh, spotlight on to light up the keyboard. And red shows up really nicely. And that purple, wow, that's, that's pretty stunning. This keyboard also comes with the same effects, so it has a breathing effect for each of the colors. And again, the flickering is from the shutter uh, shutter speed of the actual video itself. It's very, very smooth in person. You won't see any flickering. Okay, so now we come to the important part of the video. Should you buy this Sadie's Blade Mail keyboard? And the answer for me is a definite yes. Um, I really love the, the color lighting on it, the white accents below the keys. Uh, show off the glow a little bit better and uh, the the aluminum uh, front piece here is super thin that's why they call it the blade you know it's super thin and the back uh, aluminum really gives it a premium feel it's not overly heavy too which is great you know it's it's solid and it's really well built and uh, just look at that those beautiful colors is nice if I can click these over here got red here and a green here and blue here so lots of lots of cool different combinations um, so for this one, I'm definitely gonna give this, I'm definitely gonna give this a 10. This is really great. I, I love this keyboard. I switched over to this one from my old Thermaltake uh, keyboard and uh, yeah, I'm, I'm loving it. This is great. I'm, I'm really a big fan of this keyboard. Uh, you know, sponsorship aside, I really love this one. <laughs> so yeah, you should definitely try and pick this up if you can. Um, I'm gonna give this also a, a Tech Spin Platinum Award because just the build quality and the, the features on it are excellent. I really, really like this keyboard. So uh, probably pick up another one for my other computer also in the future. Okay, so thanks for, thanks for watching this video. If uh, this video didn't do it for you, then you know what to do. But if you like this video, then please do give me a thumbs up. It really helps on my channel, thanks a lot. Uh, if you wanna see more videos like this, then please do uh, subscribe for new content and click that bell icon to be notified when the next video is ready. Um, I read the comments, so if you have any questions or if I miss something, please do let me know down below. And tell me what you'd like to see next. Thank you very much for watching and see you all really soon. Bye for now.